Uh, yeah, I do apologise about that ending on, but yeah, it's all I was saying was, um, but if if it comes to a case where you know these people are brought to justice, and it won't be down to me who decides what the people, what happens to these people. People, it'll be down to the people that decide that. Um, I mean, if you, you know, if it comes to like the true scale of their horrendous crimes uh, towards humanity, I don't think the public will want to rub shoulders anymore. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't sort of create a new society and then still have people like, you know, why would you want people like David Cameron reaping the benefits of that society that we've fought for? Possibly some of us might even die for. Um, and then for them to reap the benefits, I don't know what solution to them, to what to do with them are, you know, put them on an island, then do you sort of like give them enough resources to, to survive? Um, is a bullet to the brain too quick and easy for these people? I don't know, I don't think we should really discuss those kind of things now, I think that, that will only come into effect as and when we've like re-established our, our society. And then we can obviously, as a consensus amongst the people, decide. You know, this is what we want. This is what they deserve. You know, in some respects, I do feel that they deserve to be severely punished. You know, so just to make them understand the suffering that they cause, really. Um, yeah. So. No, it's just uh, just an open train of thought. I've totally forgot what I was going to talk about. This is a problem. I'm fucking so tired. Um, I should I should do this when I'm a lot more rested. But um, I mean, like I was talking about earlier about my my journey and whatnot in terms of how I come to be like this person I am now. You know, I know if my family see this, it would probably cause a great deal of offence, really. But I know now, like, I'm in a position, I'm at a crossroads where, you know, I'm currently not working, I'm not being lazy, I'm, you know, I'm writing some um, material, some books and whatnot, you know, like a story, yeah, alright, people will say, oh, what are you writing that for monetary gain, well, you know, we are in a monetary system, we all need to survive, and that's why I don't, I don't get pissed off with people that do make money in terms of, you know, it all depends on the, on the amount they're making, if they're making millions off of advocating you know, change and all that, that's wrong. But if they're just covering their outgoings and giving themselves a little bit of pocket money, that's different, you know, we all need to, we all need to eat, we all need to pay bills, we all need to survive. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, with my family, I'm at this point now where they don't say it, but I can see it in their eyes, I'm not stupid, I can, you know, they're like, you know, why have you stagnated, why are you not doing anything, you know, that's what they see it as, but it's a case of, well, what am I working towards? What am I working towards? Getting a property that, you know, like I was explaining in the, um, when the housing bubble bursts, you know, people's properties aren't going to be worth nothing. You're going to be left in, you're going to be left high and dry. And I just think that isn't the goal that I strive towards. At the same time, you know, of course, you know, things might not happen. You know, we may just go on for the next 20 years, or 30 or 40 years, and I may die before anything ever gets that bad or I don't think it's sustainable that long personally from the information I've been given or I've, or I've seen um, I don't know I mean we're at something like something like sorry um, 1.4 trillion pound in debt I mean you know if you're if you're it doesn't make sense if you just said to, like how the system works in terms of you know the government go to the Bank of England they say they want ten million pounds just using a nice overall you know round number to play with and the Bank of England turn and, and, and the government say we'll give you ten uh, million pounds worth of bonds uh, it's all done on computers which uh, that's got a problem in its own right but I won't go into that yet so you give like you know the bonds are transacted it's all like I say it's all done on computers but say ten million pound of government bonds is given to the uh, to the bank and the bank ten up, uh, print up ten million pounds to go into circulation to be dispersed amongst the um, high street banks and whatnot, and they charge, um, say, I think it's currently at three percent now. I think interest rates are two percent, something like that. It might have recently just dropped down to zero. I'm not too sure, but either way, the only reason they're keeping it low, if I mean Britain, if if the interest rates went up to like five percent now, it'd be it, that'd be it. And I'm not just talking about England. I'm talking about the world. It's a global collapse. Um, 
the thing is, it's like if I've got ten million pounds in circulation and the bank charges me two percent interest, which is what two hundred thousand pounds. Where does that two hundred thousand pounds come from? If it ain't been printed and ain't in circ and it's not in circulation, you cannot create something that does not exist. So, you know, you get all these economists coming on, and it really fucking winds me up when you've got people like you know David Cameron saying to Miliband, "Oh, your Labour Party caused all this debt." Do you know what? Under Cameron, it's going to be like he's created seven hundred million pounds worth of debt. There's no austerity there. He's created more than all the fucking previous prime ministers put together. The man, you know, that is what the system is like. We're just we're bankrupt. We're we're, we're finished. And you can't come back from that. It doesn't. And they try and make out like, oh, if it's a case of every, say, everyone in the country, every single eligible person that could work is working. So you've got like 100 percent employment rate. It won't make a single bit of difference. People say, oh, tax the rich. It won't make a single bit of difference. You only have what you have in society. No, you know, it used to be based on the gold reserve, and that's the petrodollar. So each, even if each country, based, well, we used to, well, Gordon Brown sold 300 tons, all our gold, off very cheap. And that was just to keep our heads above water, economically, in, in that sense. So, you know, you've really got to learn to understand the... the entire global economy and then when you realise, you know, I mean countries like what Greece and Spain and Italy and Portugal have gone through, where are their their debts were like something like two hundred and thirty eight percent, four hundred percent, three hundred and something percent. You know, we're at nine hundred percent. And we're only keeping that charade going is because of the working people of this country and their and their continuous in tax income. So they're making out, oh, your tax goes to the roads and hospitals. No, it don't. It's just going straight back to the banks to pay off the deficit, you know? And yet they're still borrowing more. That is the only way they've kept their heads above water. If you if you sort of borrow £10 million at 2% and you owe 200 grand and you ain't got it in circulation, your only option is to keep borrowing more. And that's why the, the situation's just escalated. So, you know, I know my family look at me and they're not saying it, but it's in their eyes. You know, why ain't he working, why ain't he doing anything, why ain't he trying to get a house? Because it's all fucking, it's a false, um, it's a false goal, it's a false achievement. You know, no one's got, no one can tell me about I've got the right to own property and all that sort of thing. I was born of this world. I've got, we've all got the right to all the resources of this planet. And if we don't manage them correctly, I mean, we're living on a finite planet with finite resources. Uh, you know, there's... It's taken, I don't know, what, 13 billion years or 6 billion years or whatever it is that this so-called universe has been established for those, like, you know, oil. I can't stand oil. It's poisonous. It's the fucking worst commodity we've ever traded, but the world runs on it. Every aspect of our life, all the TVs you've got, your pillars, it's all got oil in it. Your car's got 8 gallons of oil in each tyre. You know, the whole world has been based on a commodity that's going to run out. We're now using something like eight barrels of oil to get one out of the ground. So that's like me going up to a tramp on the streets and saying, or anyone for that matter, I shouldn't say that, here you go, mate, it's ten pound, give us a pound back, or something along those sort of lines, yeah, on the ratio basis. Well, there's only so long I can sustain that before I'm broke. Do you see what I'm... That's, I hope people can really understand that, not just think I'm, I'm coming out with some fallacy or whatever. So, yeah. I'm going to wrap this up actually because I just realised I'm, I'm, I've got company here so I'm going to leave it there but I'm going to make more videos and more constructive videos and uh, these videos might even not be pub. I might just publish them as a starting block but they're just going to be like um, something I can use to look back on and um, just as a vocational thing that I can look back on and, and pull the information and collectively put it together for something that the people can understand that doesn't just sort of veer off from one subject to another.